Uh, welcome to Insights for Health with Dr. Ree. Uh, today, I want to share with you um, a little more details of uh, why rainbow colored foods have so many benefits. So let's look at the um, screen here. And once again, I just want to uh, keep on exposing you to, the, to these rainbow colors because when you go shopping or when you actually want to uh, think about what kind of food you're going to get, rather than uh, name of the food, I want you to think about colors. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and um, this is actually um, my uh, lunch uh, plate, and sometimes I eat this for my second meal. Uh, so my first meal is actually lunchtime, even though I said lunch, that's my breakfast. And uh, my second meal is around 6 o'clock, and uh, depending on how I feel, sometimes I eat the, uh, this for uh, my first meal, and sometimes I eat this, this as my second meal. Now, what's in these uh, foods? Uh, they're all based on colors, right? Uh, type of antioxidants uh, that are contained uh, are, can be categorized according to colors, roughly. So red color contains anthocyanin and lycopene and resveratrol. Uh, and the uh, veggies and fruits that contain uh, the anthocyanin and lycopene are uh, uh, raspberries, um, tomatoes, and red grapes. Orange color contains beta carotene, uh, and carrots and mangoes are the fruits and vegetables um, that contain like beta carotene. Yellow uh, ha contains lutein, limonene, and curcumin, and corn and avocado uh, have them. Green uh, contains antioxidant called isothiocyanate, or ITC, and um, this is contained by broccoli, kale, spinach, and green tea. Uh, how about blue indigo violet? Uh, actually has anthocyanin, uh, and anthocyanin anthocyanin actually is contained in blueberries, plums, and eggplant. And black uh, actually is uh, reflecting also anthocyanin and theorubogen uh, as uh, the antioxidants. And black raspberry is one example. Uh, there are some black beans also uh, because their black color uh, contain anthocyanin or theorubogen. So if you uh, think about what you're going to eat, now think colors especially rainbow colors, uh, white color, as well as black color. Now, I didn't mention um, uh, white um, in this chart, but white is actually a combination of all the lights, right? What are some uh, beneficial white colored foods? Um, white color, uh, can you think of anything? Radish is white, that's really good for your stomach. Uh, cabbage part, the white part of cabbage, is very good for your stomach. A very, very strong antioxidant that is white is actually garlic and onions. Uh, those are the white colored um, friends that you want to keep around and so you can add to your, add to your food. Uh, what are white colors that are not so friendly? Uh, they're white sugar uh, and uh, excessive uh, white salt as well as white flour. So those are the two um, opposing types of food that are, that are both white color. But when, I'm say, when I actually say eat white, I'm talking about the healthy version, right? And then the black color, as I mentioned, um, there are a lot of things that you can uh, think about as dark black color. And the, the most uh, conspicuous thing that I can think of are um, the blackberries as well as um, uh, some of the, um, the black beans. Um, what are some other black things that you can think of? Sometimes plums are really dark and black. Uh, even grapes are not just uh, purple, but they're actually really black. So all the black colors that you see actually have beneficial anthocyanin and theorubogen. So that's how you can think about the uh, rainbow color foods plus two other colors, white and black. And so let's summarize um, what we talked about in the last three lectures. Uh, first, uh, first lecture, I talked about insulin resistance. And insulin resistance uh, can lead to diabetes, heart disease, uh, stroke, and cancer. So in order to uh, prevent those um, devastating diseases, 
you can actually nip them in the bud by uh, reversing insulin resistance. And how you reverse insulin resistance? Uh, the, one of the best scientific uh, mechanism that was discovered was through autophagy. And autophagy is achieved when you're fasting. So insulin resistance is um, reduced when there is um, autophagy through intermittent fasting. So when you fast, you are re you're initiating repair. And so you have fasting, um, so it's actually 16 hours of fasting to 8 hours of eating. I try to uh, go to 18 hours of fasting to 6 hours uh, during which I eat. And so uh, th this is actually what I recommend. And in order to uh, complete the uh, repair process, uh, because intermittent fasting initiates a repair process, right, by autophagy. In order to complete it, you need to actually go rainbow, right? So when you go rainbow foods, of course, think about white and black as well, it actually completes. Complete, rainbow color foods, complete repair. Autophagy uh, starts. And then rainbow color foods complete. And so what also completes the repair process, um, which I'll mention uh, in a subsequent lecture, is actually sleep. And then of course rest. Uh, so I'll talk about these uh, topics uh, later um, in other lectures. And another thing that actually uh, promotes autophagy and starts the repair process, um, guess what that is? That is actually exercise. So exercise and intermittent fasting both promote autophagy and initiates or starts the repair process. So this is how you can summarize all the three lectures that I just um, uh, gave you recently. And so I hope you can practice uh, these three things and put them into your life. That's how it becomes wisdom as opposed to just um, a simple information or, or knowledge. So until next time, try to do intermittent fasting so you can initiate aut autophagy. And then once you are done with that, you feed yourself with rainbow colored foods. Until next time, stay healthy.